Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial video and today we're going to talk about a new program that is create a new string with all consecutive duplicates removed. Now this is a little tricky, we have to understand the question. We have already practiced and done how to remove duplicates from a string, right? But this is a little different because it says all the consecutive duplicates removed. If we see the examples, input here 3a. For the 3a, we get 1a. Again, for that 4b, we get 1b. For 1c, we get 1c. For 2d, we get a d. Now, here again, we see a 2b has come. Now, naturally, when we uh, do the program to do remove duplicates, this 2b also get removed. But in this case, we have to print the b because we have to remove consecutive duplicates. Here, 4b are consecutive. For this reason, 1b was printed. But here, this 2b is consecutive. But between this b and this b, there are already other characters. So these two, these two b's are not consecutive. So they are detached. As a result, they have to print separately. So let us see how we can do the program. First, let me just write down the code and then I will discuss. Okay, my code is complete. So let me just run it. Okay, so here you can see that for three A, there is one M for for consecutive b there is one b for one c there is one c for two consecutive d there is one d two consecutive b there is one b then e c e e c e so the code is fine let me just now describe it here at first we have taken an int variable from the user as an input then as empty string s equal to empty string for ch in and here you can use i j k anything you want if s not equal to an empty string or ch not equal to s length of s minus 1 if this condition fulfilled then the next line if this condition fulfilled then the next line s equal to s plus ch so what happened here first of all when we go in this loop we see this condition as equal to not uh, equal to an empty string which is correct because in the beginning we have already declared that s equal to an empty string so since this condition is full and since there is an odd condition so as any of this condition can fulfill the loop will work this condition satisfied next line will go here the first character comes a here is chr that the first character is a so here a come in the next line again when the loop will work another a comes now s is not empty anymore so this condition won't satisfy right now rather this condition will satisfy now we know that length of s that is right now s has one character that is a so length is length of s is one one minus one equal to zero we know by this third bracket means that index it's indicating so s of zero meaning the first character that is a now here chr the new character is a and the value in s is also a that is a equal to a but our condition told us that it shouldn't be it is not equal to if it is not equal to a then it will work so since here a equal to a this loop will not work again this loop will not work and won't print so the loop will again run similarly when another way will come this condition will not fulfill 
then when come b here the length of s is already one like we previously said only one a has been printed in s when the character b comes b is not equal to a as a result this condition is fulfilling so the next line will print and we get s is a and b both similar similarly c and d will also come now here is the important part our new character is b let me just write here b and our previous character now here there are length of s is 4 so length of s minus 1 that is 3 s of 3 that is s index 3 equal to d now b is not equal to d thus that means according to condition it is satisfying that b is not equal to d so the next letter b should print in this way we can print by removing all the consecutive duplicates even if one character comes twice in different places we can also print those that is all for today if you have any kind of problems you can comment down or mail me thank you for watching if you like the video do like and subscribe that is for today see you in the next video